what is up everyone welcome back to our video we are back at it again beautiful minnesota we've had some stable weather 40 degrees and we're hoping that the northern pike are turned on looking for some baits so before we get in the shack shout out to the kids that are behind me here there are uh, some young kids that are always saying hi to me out here and it's all about the younger generation fishing so shout out to those kids let's get in the shack and let's get fishing all right we're in the hub today we're going to be using big old sucker minnows hopefully for some big pike so let's go ahead and get that rigged up we're going to be using the tip up inside like you guys see me use before because i got a nice solid uh leader on this to rig that big sucker on along with 40 pound tip up braid so if we do get into a fish today we can get a good hook set and have some fun hand lining so let's go ahead and get this tied up get it down and i'm excited to get fishing it's a nice sunny day hoping that we're pike around the roam it's about 11 a.m and uh, we're gonna get one of these big dogs hooked up just like so and uh he's nice and lively let's get him down there there we are oh my god guys we already got a pike on camera looking at him i am literally if you guys are watching right now i'm lifting my bait up and uh, we got a pike as we're as we're setting the tip up. Look at that, he's looking right at it, guys. Let me move the camera some. Look at this. In the intro, we were about to catch a pike. This is awesome. I haven't even got my jigging rod set down and obviously you guys are watching on the screen with me right now. Got the nice big pike looking at him. Look at that. Come on, buddy. Bring it up to your level, just a hair. Oh my God, what is this, a second pike, guys? A second pike? Oh my God, this is insane. Look at him. I'm still just sitting here. Eat it, eat it. Are we gonna catch a pike on in the intro? Come on. Oh my God, look at this, guys. Two pike now. What did... This is crazy. Holy cow, guys. Look at this footage. This is insane. I don't even know what to do. Let's just keep watching them look at it. I'm gonna get my jigging rod down. All right, guys. Wow, this is crazy. All right. He's coming back for it. Got him, he got him, he got him. He went back for it. Let's let him eat it for a little bit. No way. Turn the camera just a hair to see him eating on that. Alright, does he have it in his mouth? It's a big sucker, so I'm gonna let him take it for a second. Oh, he just got off! No! No! Guys! Oh! That was most likely my fault. Oh, he's back down there. I'm gonna put my jigging rod down there real quick. This is chaos. This is crazy. He got himself a free meal. Holy cow. All right. What the hell just happened? That was all happening too quick, guys. Multiple pike. Didn't nearly give him enough. Oh, he's still down there. Didn't nearly give him enough run, I guess, and uh, pulled it right out of my hands. But he's still swimming down there right now, and uh, I haven't even got my new bait tied up, but uh, I do have this ripping wrap on, so um, I don't have time to switch. We're just going to see if we can catch a pike while they're down there. Holy crap. Sorry for the excitement, guys, but uh, usually it doesn't happen all this quick. You guys are watching it live, and uh, this is exciting. It's like the last day to target pike on my local lakes, and... Uh, I haven't even got completely set up and we are having fun. I got a special lure to tie on for you guys and show you what that's all about. And uh, I'm just going to jig for a couple minutes with this rip and wrap because they're down there and they're hungry. All right, I got to calm down. Holy cow, that was exciting. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am out here. Um, Well, let's get another sucker on, get back down, get my jigging rod tied up with the correct bait. Let's try this one more time. And... Uh, that pike comes fast as uh, he did last time. We are back down there. 
Not sure if it's going to last a couple minutes, but all right. Let's try to get my jigging rod set up and show you guys what we're going to be using on that. We are set. All right, well, all that excitement chills out for a second. Hopefully, I can get a talking in here before the next pike comes and smacks that sucker because I think it's going to be a crazy day with how fast that happened. But, uh, yeah, so today I brought a heavier rod. I just picked up Della Bay's new Rip and Rattle medium heavy rod. You can see that there. I got a Shimano Sedona 1000 on it. And uh, we got some 10 pound Power Pro. And we're going to, oh, here comes the, what did I say here? I'm trying to tell you guys my rod and here comes the, the pike again. So let's just watch, see what he does. My goodness. I'll get back to my rod in a second here. That's funny. I'm not even gonna be able to not even gonna be able to tell you my setup and we're gonna just have Pike going like crazy. So while he's moving out of the camera, I wanna hurry up and get set up. So like I said, gonna be using a lot of heavier gear today as we're targeting bigger pike, hopefully. And I'll show you the jig we're gonna be using today. If you guys remember that video I shot about a month ago with the Daredevil, pretty cool. Uh, Daredevil, the company itself, saw that video, reached out to me, and if they wanted to send me some lures to uh, see if I can't throw some more spoons at these guys. So I said, hey, why not? And uh, this showed up in the mail yesterday. So we got ourselves all kinds of Daredevils to try out this year and uh, different sizes. I'll show you guys a couple of them. They asked me what kinds do you want, and the, uh, the go-to one that everybody wanted in that video was the Five of Diamonds. So we are going to be rocking the Five of Diamonds today. You know what? Let's put the big one on. Look at that guy. I actually was going to put this little guy on, but uh, we got some big pike down there looking for some big baits. So I say we tie that guy on and see what happens today. All right, let's go ahead and tie this spoon on. Show you guys how I tie this. Anytime I'm using braid, I don't do the traditional trialing knot. I'll do the polymer knot, or I like to call it the Perkusky knot. And uh, what that is, is you put the line through twice like this. We're going to slide back and forth. And you pretty much just, like tying a shoe, you loop it, you swoop it. But when you come back through, you open up right here. You come back and drop the lure through. Nice and simple. And that right there is the polymer knot. And that pike's back. All right, enough yapping, guys. We're tied up, five of diamonds. It's a pike down there right now looking at my sucker, and uh, we're going to go down and get him. There he goes. There he goes. Dinner's ready. Let's get down there. Let's do this. You see him in the background, guys? I can see his fins moving back there. Oh, he likes the five of diamonds. Got him. Oh, he got off. Oh. Ooh. Did you guys see that? He inhaled that. Just missed him. Tighten up my drag some. Yes, they're going to love the flash today. Let's just keep ripping this lure in. I'm going to get that pike. Hey, oh, hey. Ah. Oh. He bit the side of it. He wanted that too. Maybe he'll come back. Man, the five of diamonds just 
already starting up a flurry down there. No bait. I wanted to tip it with bait, and uh, I'm going to rock this thing original today because uh, we got pike hitting it. We got bass hitting it, and uh, I'm going to keep ripping this thing. Here he comes. Look at his back. He wants it. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh. Take it. Come on. Oh, I thought that was in his mouth. Let yeah, I me mean, come up with a little bit. I'm going to raise it up, see if he wants it. That's where uh, I think the minnow head would have triggered the bite right there. A lot of action, but we are going to get a fish topside today. And hopefully not just one, hopefully a few fish. That's up to me. So, looks like the fish are going to give me the opportunities. And uh, it's up to me to see if I'm uh, any good at angling or not. Here he comes. Here he comes, guys. He was just cruising through. Oh, what's that down there? Is that a perch? Come here, buddy. Look at this. You gotta be kidding me. It's a big bait for you. Yeah, bite the hook. You kidding me? This bait's the size of this perch. What are you doing? Come on. A little minnow head on there would probably do it. Said that earlier, I have to put one on, but I'm not really targeting perch right now. Whoa! See him take off. Alright. Let's keep jigging. That sucker minnow's going crazy, so. Maybe it's a good sign. Oh, here comes a fish, guys. Nice. He's coming for that spoon. Come on. I don't want to miss you. Take it. Got him. There we go, guys. Fish on. There we go. Five and that. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh. Hey, he saves it. That was crazy. Oh, don't go back in the hole. I already saved it. Holy cow, he's feisty. Check that guy out. A lot of fun, holy cow. Jigging him up. That was some good redemption after missing those first couple. Nice, let's let him go. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> All right, that was fun. <laughs> Lost him and got redemption. All right, some of you guys are probably gonna grill me for uh, not using a leader right now, but uh, we are tied on the braid and sometimes you just gotta play with fire. Brass back. Daredevil strikes again. Let's get back down there. All right. We are back down. And I smell like pike slime. But uh, for today, it's a good feeling. Let's keep jigging and see what else comes through. Man, this... Uh, I thought it was going to be a good day today with the uh, stable weather, high temps, and uh, throwing a big old flash spoon down there. Definitely it's getting their attention. So... Tighten up my drag from that first one I missed. That one seemed a lot bigger, but uh, felt good to get one topside finally. Cool thing too was I saw that fish, we saw that fish come in, and normally, you know, I slow my bait down. Just kind of natural reaction when you're, you know, cr you're sitting here, you're snapping it. You see that fish come in, you start slowing it down to imitate, you know, like a dead bait. And uh, sometimes they want that flash to keep going. And in that case, I slowed it down and saw he wasn't interested and gave it two big snaps. Bam! We got a pike top side. All right. Well, it's been an hour since I caught that pike, and uh, nothing's came through. Just that perch a couple times. So 
I gotta get going, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Shout out to uh, Daredevil for hooking me up with the uh, spoons. I know these spoons are specifically made for trolling and casting and retrieving, but, you know, we're out here doing some unorthodox approaches, and it's working for these pike. Today, they're definitely uh, aggressive. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. Uh, you're probably watching this Sunday night, which would be the end of pike season here in Minnesota. And, uh... But don't be sad because we'll be back out. Mille Lacs, late season. Got a couple weekends up there. And we're going to bring out the big spoons, some big suckers. And we're going to target some monster pikes. So stay tuned to those videos. Hopefully we can get some fish on camera. Hopefully some monsters topside. Only time will tell. And we'll see you back for another one.